hello my gorgeous friends on the internet how you are doing so in this video i'm going to show you how to use the email and password to authenticate user into your flutter application all right and uh, basically i'm not going to be covering google and facebook authentication in this video but i'm going to cover it in the future video and also i'm going to cover how to set up phone authentication so just subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification button so that you won't miss the update all right so the a course i want to introduce you to so it's an event uh, build an event application with flutter and firebase 2021 edition so with this course you will be able to get amazing you get amazing knowledge so you learn how to use firebase adding firebase authentication creating a database fire clouds firestore creating countdown notification which is basically SMS and local notification and setting up uh, users, updating the user and uh, how, working with GitHub, also uploading your project to Play Store and the things you need to know before you upload your app to Play Store. So this course is actually available for five days with a coupon code. So I'm going to put a coupon code on the, the description. So the first people to get it within that day get it for a discounted price for 9.99 dollars which is but outside that outside that five days is going to be increased so i want you to rush and get this course before it increase all right so let's get started to business so the first thing i'm going to do uh okay i believe you already know what this authentication is all about so it's like it provides a backend service and to help you authenticate your users to your app so it supports authentication using password phone numbers basically we're going to work with passwords and email in this course in this video sorry and we can also work with other identity providers like google facebook and twitter but that will be in the future video all right so the first thing we want to do now is to add firebase to your project and i actually did that in I actually did a video on that in the previous tv i did so i'll put the link also in the description below it's actually the video i showed you how to uh, send push notification to your flutter application so i'm going to put that in the description below so right now i just have uh, an app so it's just an empty app and nothing serious is going on here so now what i'm going to do first thing first to get started using firebase authentication is to go to your firebase account so i believe you have an account and create an app so this is the app i'll be using and once you get the app you click on authentication and this will take you to the page uh, so this page we need to uh, <clears throat> enable the email and password so without this we won't be able to make use of it we won't be able to add create a new user so you want to make sure you enable this if it's enabled already you just leave it in uh, if you want to use phone, you can enable phone as well. You can enable Google and the rest of them. All right. So since we are working with only email, I'm just going to uh, enable that. And right now, currently, we have no users for this project. So what I'm going to do now is to go to the... So I believe you all know the site, which is Flutterfire. It is actually a, a website that just shows you how to use Firebase services and the rest of them. So I'll be taking making some reference here. Though I can do it without this site, but for your sake, and I also want to introduce you in case of those that don't know about the site, so you can find easy solutions to implementing Firebase into your application. So the first thing we are going to go is here. All right, so we're going to introduce us to the plugin we need to install. So I'm going to copy this plugin and go to your Firebase, your your app, and uh, go to your prospect of the YAML file. So I'm going to paste this here inside my prospect of the yammer file and once you paste that and make sure you run flutter pop get okay so we just let that run so while it's running i'm going to create three classes okay two classes basically one is for handling the screens which is the ui the interface of the app and the other one is for the provider to actually communicate with firebase and then we can create a new user and the rest of that okay so right now the app is just blank and you can see my lip food i just have two folders and right now this one is not needed it's useless we am not going to you make use of it so this means that that uh, is here which is the simple stuff you're seeing right here 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create uh, two folders package. So the first one is going to be screens. So this is going to hold all my screens. And then I'll create another one for provider. So this is going to hold uh, and we are going to implement the Firebase stuff. So here that's fine. I'm going to create uh, auth class or auth provider. Let's just go with auth provider. And okay, so this is where we're going to, we're going to create a class to handle the function for creating a user, signing a user in, and resetting the user, and also uh, signing out a user. So I'm just going to create a class. So this is going to be auth class. Okay, remember it's a class and I also need to create the instance of the Firebase authentication. So this stuff has completed running and we're just going to call Firebase auth. So if yours didn't show up, you can restart your project or, okay, and we're going to have auth here and then I will just create the instance of it, just initialize it, Firebase auth.instance. All right, so this Fox function is for creating an account. And the second one will be for uh, signing in user. Yeah, to sign in user. This one will be for resetting password. So we set password. And this one will be for, okay, we can call this sign out. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to leave all these classes blank for now, all these functions blank. Okay. And then I will go on to create the alt classes, the alt. Uh, pages so the first one is going to be for login the second one will be for register reset and also I want to have the screen all this should be inside auth class sorry i will just create auth screen okay so just copy this refactor it inside and do the same thing with this okay so do the same thing with this as well so what i did i just moved all of them inside that folder okay so i'm going to create another one so this one is going to be for the splash screen so this is going to be the splash page because it's needed in this project and i'll go then the finally is going to be the main page the home page of our application so it can be anything depending on your home page your dashboard whatever page you want to show first to the user whenever they come up whenever they sign in and all that okay so this is going to be the home page so basically i'm just going to work on the home page real quick so we're just going to have uh you're just going to have an app bar and a test that is showing the email of the user so right now we cannot retrieve the email but we there's still a method to just put it there okay so using firebase auth so i just have a stateful widget and this is going to be a home page and here i can return a scaffold okay i can return a scaffold and the scaffold we have an app bar To just welcome you that's all so no too much function so it's going to be a test widget with a welcome test and then we have body which is going to be a center widget Oops. okay and uh, we have error here close this okay so we have center and i'm just going to return a test okay so this test is just going to be the email of the user okay so we just have email and the email is going to come from uh let's call this email so to get this email there's a method using firebase auth okay so the firebase auth returns so many things that are needed so right now we cannot retrieve it, but we just want to put it there, okay? Because until you sign a user, 
is fully authenticated we'll be able to retrieve this data so i have the email as a string and i will have firebase auths dot instance dot current user so from here you can get so many things you can get the email of the user the user id okay you can get the email the user id phone number photo url but using email and password you'll be able to get photo url you won't be able to get the display name you won't be able to get phone number just user id email i believe so to get all this you will need to use the google sign in or you use your phone number to authenticate to get the phone number of the user so in this case we are just going to go with the email which is provided and i'll pass it here as a string but right now we cannot do anything even if i hot restart the app so what i'll do now is to go to my splash screen to check if the user exists or not okay so the splash screen is just going to be a simple page you know and i'm just going to show the flutter logo there okay and so it's going to be a stateful widget and this is going to be a splash i hope i'm not too fast i'm just trying to make this thing really quick so that the video won't be long you know and then we're going to have a center widget and a child which is flutter logo and i will give you the size of 80 to make it bigger all right and uh, save this so now I'll go back to my home page and uh, no not home page sorry we can remove this home page because i don't think it's needed you can go to our main dot that okay so we have the app bar we have the home home okay so instead of returning this home let me just return a splash okay so for now we can just comment it don't worry we're going to need this later because we need to initialize firebase app but i don't want to do that now i want to run the app normal and then once the error shows you see the reason why we need to initialize or firebase app okay because i want to do it in a way even if you encounter it later you just remember okay there's an error like this i encountered in a video okay so you know what to do and how to initialize the firebase app okay so here we just return splash screen all right and if i save it it will just return the splash and you can see the flutter logo showing up here but right now it's not doing anything it's not taking us to any page or whatever so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a register page once i do that i will create a login page that will contain email and password and then I'll create a reset page that will just contain email and then the user can just, you know, send the email. All right, so I'll put an import here, okay? And there's gonna be a stateful widget. So this is gonna be register page. Okay, so this is gonna be a scaffold widget. And ABBA, so we can have a title i believe okay yeah i believe we have register all right so inside there now i can also create a body so this body we just have a column so I just i just want to create a simple ui there is no too much design to read just a simple ui and the first one is going to be a test form feed and it will require a controller so this controller is going to be email controller and then i'm going to have a hint so you must have input decoration and we can have hint test so this is going to be email all right and i don't think we need any other thing there again so let me just give it some space so using the size box we can use height of 30 okay so we can all right so now we have this but i'm, I'm going to change this instead of password instead of email is going to be password and we can change this one as well to password so to get rid of these errors i will just need to create the test editing controller for those two buttons For those two controllers, sorry. Uh, we 
okay so you can copy this yep yep uh, we can copy it and uh, paste it here and uh, change the stuff to password all right so i think now the errors are gone okay okay so now to see this stuff working and i will use some if statement here so to actually see this page so i'll go to uh my splash screen where is she where is it <laughs> okay so where is it uh let's see I will create a Firebase auth class first. So check if the user is null or not. So if the user is null, we are going to take the user to the login page to create an account. But if the user is not null, we just take them direct to the home page. All right. So normally when the user is always null is when the user is just visiting your app for the first time or the user just sign out from your app or the user uninstall your app or it clear the local storage so that way the user the firebase will just see the user as a null user but if the user is not null let's say the user have used your app once and then just close it from the recent tab and come back again to assess the application so it shouldn't be null. all right so now what i'm going to do splash splash error is somewhere uh let's fix that okay all right, so I'm going to create a Firebase auth class, and uh, this one is going to be Firebase auth dot instance. Okay, and that is good. And now I can use my future builder to actually delay this screen for three seconds. Future the delay, and it can set a duration. The seconds of two seconds yeah i just want to make it shorter instead of longer okay all right so now i can check if the user is null or not so if uh if odd dot current user is equal to null so what do we do we just take you direct direct to the sign-in page but since the sign-in page is not ready i'll just take the user to the register page and then later we're going to change that all right so we just go to register page all right and uh, don't forget to close this okay so else and copy that so if the user is not now we just take you straight to the home page which is the home page which is this i believe which is this we just take it to the home page all right where you see your email and your welcome message all right so just change this to home page all right and make sure you close this terminate it here and you can do a hot restart i'm sorry yeah you can do a hot restart now and let's see so if it's not take us to our register page if it's not now take us to the login home page okay so this was the error i wanted to show you no firebase app default has been created okay so we need to call the firebase.initialize app following this method we are still going to get error though it's still going to work okay so if you come here now which is the main dot that and uh, create the stuff they ask us to do which is run firebase dot initialize app right firebase as in a firebase or oh, is not firebase dot initialize app so if we happen to do it this way now which is the uh, method they showed us here it's still gonna work but we are still gonna get the error and which is not a good practice you're still gonna get the error okay let's try it again the error should show you can see the error is showing and then we are going back so this is not what we want we just we don't want to see the error instead we want to see a progress indicator or something else we don't want that error to show so there's actually an easier method if you go to the firebase site and those side 
and you go to overview all right and if you scroll down there's a prerequisite that means we need to initialize the flutter fire so await flutter initialize app so this method is not actually good so what i'm going to do i'll just first make sure you call this widget of flutter binding dot ensure initialized and then we are going to copy this and this is actually the main thing and they use feature builder there's actually another one where you use stream builder i believe okay i can't get that one but i think there's an, another method where they use stream builder okay okay this is stateful builder sorry uh stateful widget but this method i don't really like this so i'll just go with the one of future builder and i'm going to copy this and add it to my app so you can see how they initialize it here with the initialization and all the stuff so i'm just going to copy this one okay copy that and i'll go back to the project all right so go back to the main dot that you can see the reason why i commented this home page all right so i'm just going to uncomment it again okay so um, what I'll do is to remove this, okay, and then replace it with this one, like so. All right, so now we have the home page. So instead of returning this home page, we are just going to return, instead of returning the splash screen, we are going to return the home, all right, which is this. So now what is happening here is that we use the future builder to check for initialization because this is actually a future. So we check if the snapshot that has error what we do we just show a container so let me just show a container there so you won't see the error and then if the snapshot dot connection state is equal to the connection state that done that means the firebase has been initialized successfully we just navigate to the splash screen then if there is any error at all or no not an error if it's still loading like it's not yet initialized then we're going to show a cycle progress indicator all right so it can just return center and uh, is to have a child cycler sometimes you may not see the cycle indicator because it's actually so fast so you won't be able to see it all right so this is how you you initialize a flutter app easily without any yeah any red screen or whatsoever so now we are going to hot restart this again let me bring up the app and how to start you should see there will be no you won't be, you won't see that red error again so let's try it again the red the red screen is not showing it just take us straight up to what we want all right so now we have successfully accomplished this part so i can remove this okay and then we have the register screen something actually happened okay all right so what i'll do i believe okay it's still taking us here that is because i've already done this once i've already done this once okay so this is not nice so let me see okay let me just sign out so and uh, okay i'm going to create a currently the reason why this page is showing is because i'm not the user is not known because i've already tried to do something like this before so what i'll do i'll just create a icon an icon which is an action icon and it's going to be an icon button so this button will help us to sign out the user okay So we're going to use exit to app, I believe. Okay. And uh, I'm pressed. So this method will just uh, sign out the user for us. So we can just sign out user here. Okay. So, but now we are not going to sign that user yet. Okay. I'm just going to implement the function and then we can uh, sign out the user. But for now, let me just do some tweaking here is not actually a good thing but i'll just check if the user is not now then go to the other page okay so let me just use this so that we can and so that we can just do the register login and reset page asap all right so it, it should take us to the register page i believe all right so this is register page you can wrap this with a padding to give it some 
nice feeling so let there be space here okay so that's the reason why i added that okay so now we are going to add a button so this button will just enable us to i'll use a flat uh, i'm not really a flat fan of flat buttons but let's just go with that and uh, i just like using container with a gesture detector you know to using container will just help me to that way i'll be able to style the button where anyhow i want can also add a shadow if i want so i can do this one is going to be create account okay and uh, we can have okay save that we should have this create account so i can give it a color uh, let me give it a blue color Okay, and then next I will create, what about if the user has an account already? So if you have an account, we just take you down to the, I'll be using a gesture detector for this. But first, so if the user has an account, if you click on it, we just take you to the login page. So it should be of height 20. Okay, so I will use the gesture detector here tab so basically once you click on this it will just take you to the login page so let me have the child first and it's gonna be already have an account then you can log in okay and uh, I will go to the splash screen and just copy this stuff yep yep uh, it should be push okay so just copy the stuff uh, no uh, let me just type this manually so we have navigator the push okay and we have the material page route and we have the contest and uh, we can return the login page right now login page does not exist so we're going to create that real quick login page does not exist so login then what about if the user forgets his or her password we are going to reset the password for them and we can have the const size boss height uh, okay 10 let's go with 10 okay so i will have this so forgot password so what you do is just reset so it will just take you to reset page and this one is going to be the reset page okay and you don't want to spell this stuff correctly all right so now we have accounts double c okay so now we have the log login page and the reset page but right now it's showing error because we have not created those pages so what i will do since they are all similar i'm just going to duplicate this copy it go to login page and paste it just make some changes so instead of register page this is going to be login page and make sure you copy that and we are going to put it here and uh, do the same thing here same thing as well all right so now i also have the test editing controller for email and password so changing this back to login and you also change this back okay email email password and uh, login account login and uh, we can remove this Okay, so this one is going to be already have an account. No, don't have an account, so you'll be able to. Okay. Don't have an account. So you'll be able to register as a new user. Alright, so and this one which is for reset page forgot password reset 
all right so i made a mistake somewhere this reset shouldn't be in the register page so i'm just going to get rid of it it should be in the home page all right so now we can we can import this and i'll do similar thing to the reset page just paste it okay error somewhere so just copy this and uh, paste it here oops okay and um, paste it here all right so already have an account already have an account login so it will take us the login page so this one instead of create account it should be reset account okay and we have the password shouldn't be for resetting an account so we're going to remove that and we only require email when you try to reset a password so this should be reset and you remove this one as well and we are going to change this to reset page okay and copy that we can also replace it here and do the same thing here uh, similar thing here as well okay similar thing here as well all right so i think everything now are properly linked so let's just uh, see error is somewhere alt screen and then which screen is that login page so we need to import the reset page all right so now i think i can do a hot restart to show everything all right so now we have the email we also have the password we can also have a button for creating an account so now you can log in if you already have an account and you can uh, log in we can we need to change this to register so we don't have an account register so once you click on this register it will take you back to the registration page if you click on reset it will take you to the reset page and it has only email click on this it will take you to login page all right so we have successfully implemented that so now the next thing we are going to do now is to work on this auth package where we are going to create the class for actually handling the authentication stops all right so the first thing we are going to do is for though we have created an instance so it's going to be a future and it will have a return type of string so we have this as create account okay and it's going to take a name constructor which is email and since we are authenticating use since we are creating a new user using email and password we also have a string of email and password and is an async function so we are going to use a sync there and actually there's also actually a method already prepared for us so what i'm going to do i'm just going to go to the flutter fire page and go down to authentication usage and i'm just going to copy uh, just copy that for the email and password because I want I don't want to keep typing this continuously So I will just copy this which is actually for creating if you look here now we have create user with email and password So we just copy that and go to your project And uh, I'm going to paste it here. All right, so since you already created this instance, you're going to make use of this So I will just remove this We don't need it All right, so use your await and uh, auth dot create user with email and password and we're also going to remove this dummy email and return the one we have in our constructor and also remove in our parameter sorry and we also remove that and put this okay so what is actually happening here we use exception handling to try and also catch the error so await so if auth the just auto the create user with email and password if it's successful we can just return remember this is for welcome this is for register we can just say account created okay account created we can just return that remember it has a return type of string you don't need to return an integer so here we check for firebase authentication exception so if the if it's a weak password we can just return this stuff to the user hey the password is weak and try a stronger password then if the 
email is already in use now it's another user we already have another user with the same email we can just return uh, email already exists exception all right else we can just return anything uh, error occurred so we can try again so all right so now we have that for creating an account and now we're going to work on creating a new user so i'll just still copy the same function because it's still similar stuff we are doing so i will not really copy that function so i will just okay i will copy the function and then just make some changes okay copy it paste it here and then we're just going to remove this try and catch all right so this should be sign in okay and i will go back to that site so i think they have that for creating signing in a user all right so we are going to copy this as well and go back to our app so inside here i'm going to paste it and remove this stuff okay so it should be a wait out dot sign in with email and password okay if you see the previous one was create user with email and password okay error of code okay and uh, the email also i also need to change it to this email and also i'm going to change the password as well so it's going to be password and then once everything is successful i'll just say welcome and then this one i'm going to return the error which is a firebase exception okay and uh, we can close this and i can also return this if the email or password provided is wrong okay and make sure you close this all right so now we have this one set up and the next thing i'm going to do now is for resetting the password all right so to do that password it's just going to be a straightforward stuff so it's this similar thing and um, doing firebase email and password authentication is not difficult as you think so i uh, will do reset password function and it doesn't require a password it only requires email and this one also we can just use reset send password reset email and it doesn't require a password so we can remove it if you hover on it it only requires the email and the action code setting which is not required for us so we can just say here email sent all right and uh, i don't need to use firebase auth and the rest of them so we can just remove it and now we just catch the error here and just return error or code so whatever the error is just print it out and uh, make sure you close it accord okay so now we have this one for resetting the password we have for signing in a user we have for creating a new user all right and then for signing out a user since it does not return anything we are just going to use the void here uh, sign out and i can just call the firebase which is the auth class we created above dot sign out so it does just simple it's just simple nothing else so now to actually make this stuff look good so what i'm going to do i'll go back to my splash screen and i'm going to check this stuff so if it's null and you do your stuff if it's not and do your other stuff so what i'm going to do now since i've already implemented a button i will set i will call this class which is this uh, where is it where is it uh, this sign up okay so that i'll be able to um, sign out the user and then let everything go back to normal so i'll go back to the home page and so on click on this button i'm going to call the auth class so remember the auth class we created which is from here the the provider auth provider so we have this auth class and it will give us access to each of these member functions okay so i will go to home page i can call auth class dot sign out all right asap this is just simple 
and you want to make sure you save it and once you click on this it's going to sign out the user but it's not a good practice what i want you to do that if you click click on sign up button any sign up whatever it is let it bring up a dialogue or a confirmation confirmation message to tell the user hey you're about to uh, to sign out are you really sure you want to perform this action and you know all those type of messages all those type of warning messages so until the user performs uh, accepts yes do not sign the user out so we're going to click here and it's going to okay so we is not working uh let's see firebase out uh, let me do a hot restart Okay, so it has been signed out, but the reason why it didn't do anything was because I was supposed to navigate the user back to the login page once you sign out, and that was my bad. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this and go here. So once the user signs out, you can just navigate the user back to the login page, okay? So maybe you want to create another user, no problem. You just do your stuff there. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to work on the login page. I want to show you something. So we'll try to create the login and then try to, to log in using any password without creating an account. So let's see what Firebase is going to throw at us. All right, so but by default, if you're using all this stuff, you need to show a progress indicator. Okay, you click on create account, you should show a progress indicator. Hey, wait, this stuff is processing. And then once it's done, you get a message or you get any action. So to do that, I'm going to create a boolean variable. So it's going to be of name is loading, and I will give it a value to be false. All right. So currently it's not loading. So inside this, inside here, I will check for conditional statement. So if it's loading, if it's loading is equal to false, we can just return this main, this main page, which is this one. Then if it's not uh, if it's loading, then we can just return a center widget with a cycle progress indicator. All right, and I think this is good. So now let's implement the login real quick. So the first thing we're gonna do, once you click on the login, I wanna set state and then put the is loading to be false yeah to be true so once you click on the button it's loading we start loading so if i click on this button now okay let me save this stuff and uh, i'm just wondering how i'm going to get out of here okay okay is a login page okay so let's go to login page okay so if i click on this button now you should see the progress indicator but right now nothing is happening okay so what i'm going to do is just Make sure you close this just hot restart okay so we have gotten that and then once it's loading we can then perform the action so call the auth class again and then we can call the sign in user so sign in user and it takes the email of the user which is the email controller we created so we're going to get it from email.test and you also want to get one to three minutes to remove every white species so this is this email and this is the controller we created here so the next one now is to pass the password and it should be password so this password is actually going to the password and the email will retrieve any test that the user entered inside here all right so all right and we can use the then method so once this is done and we can just check for conditional statements. So with, with this now, we'll be able to know, okay, when are we going to uh, send the user to the home page? Is this thing an error message or whatsoever? So to get that, remember I returned, uh, if you go to the auth class, auth provider, while creating an account, I return welcome. So this welcome is when we have a successful response. So now we go back to my login page. And then I will check if... If the value is equal to welcome that means the user 
account has been created or you have successfully authenticated the user. So what I'll do, I'll just go back to the splash screen. So you will have to copy this home page. So just navigate the user straight up to the home page widget, okay? And copy that home page and we navigate to the home page, all right? Else, so if the user, if there's any error whatsoever, error like this, no user found, wrong password, and the rest of them, we are just going to show a scaffold uh, uh, snack bar, okay? And you should have the value at the time of the string, okay? All right, so we are good. Okay, my phone just disconnected. So I'm going to import this home page as well. And I think everything is good except this one. Okay, so we're just going to connect that. All right, so, okay, my app is still running. All right, oh, it's not running. So we can just run this real quick. Okay, so while that is running, uh, we can, okay, now I've successfully shown the uh, the scaffold messenger all right but now this thing is still loading so what i'll do i'll just set state and here state. okay so i'm just using set state because i just want just a tutorial so i want it to be so fast so we can just use force and the same thing if we encounter any error we can still show this as well okay and then we are done with this home page so now let's implement that for um, the register page. So I'm still going to copy the same thing because it's still the same method all through. So we're going to copy this and go back to register and look for the register button. Okay. Okay. So this is the register button and we paste that. And so right now I'm going to import this first. And then this welcome message, let's see. So auth class dot create user. Okay, first import the auth class so that we'll be able to access the field inside. So dot create account. Okay, and it also takes an email and a password. We already passed the email and password, which is this and this. Okay, so we don't need to do any changes there again. Alright, so now we have this. So if the value is equal to shouldn't be welcome so i think it's something account created all right so is account created okay so the welcome is for email so password if it's successful we return account created so what i'll do now just go to the register page and then change this stuff to account created all right so now i also need to implement this is loading so remember the same thing we did we created a boolean value a boolean variable okay and then i use it here the conditional statement to actually return a progress indicator if this stuff is already loading okay so we can just return a progress indicator here which is circular Okay, and don't forget to wrap it with a call a, cont a center so that it will show on the middle here. All right, I think we are done with this register. So now let's go to the reset and then implement this real quick and then we test it. All right. So now I'm just going to copy this. It's the similar thing all the processes. So I will just copy this. Mm, go to reset, and we have the reset button here, right? So you do the same thing, but this time now we are not going to the login page. We are actually going to, we are not going to the home page. We are actually going to the login page. All right. So once you reset, just take it to the login page and, uh, we don't require, we don't need a password for this. So alt class first, import it. And, uh, this stuff should be changed to reset password and the email is not required. Get rid of it. All right put this stuff don't forget 
Okay, so now we need to create. Okay, if value if value is equal to account created. In this case, it's not account created. I think it's email sent. Okay, yeah, it's email sent. Okay, so let's go back to reset, and uh, this should be email sent. All right, so I'm going to create a variable of this is loading as well above here. Okay, remember it's also a boolean value, so it's loading equal to false. And I'll do the same thing here to return a progress indicator. So if it's loading is equal to false, so it just stay as it is, return that page. Then if it's not, we can return a center widget with a cycle cycle progress indicator okay i think we are done we are done already there is no other thing we need to implement so let me just do a hot restart and then we're going to test this app all right so splash cream i think i've done that okay so if the current user id is equal to null go to login screen go to login all right oh it's still register it should be logging Okay, so let's do this one more time. Run it and let's see where it takes us to. All right, we're on the login page. Okay, so now let, let me try to create an account. Remember, we have not. Let me try to log in an account. Remember, we have not created any user. So I'll use my email. Okay. And I'll use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. And if I click on this login button now, the circular progress indicator will show and the message we if there's any error or whatsoever. Okay, so now we have no user found for that email. That means we have not created any email, we have not created any account using this email before. Alright, so now what we are gonna do now is to go to the register. Okay, and let's go to register and still using the same method to talk to Destiny Earth. Okay, and then we use the password, all right, and then create an account. And let's see, hooray! Now it's taking us to the login, the home page. So we have successfully created an account. So if I do a hot restart now, it's not going to take us back to the login page, it will take us direct to the home page. So let's see that. Now you have it, we have the home page, okay. So right now, if you want to sign out, just click on this button and it will take you back to the login page again. All right. And it's actually handled by this. So remember when we call the, the list. Okay. It shouldn't be reset. Okay. Home page. Remember when we call this. We call this. Once you click on this button, that button, sorry, to just sign the user out and then navigate to the login page asap and that is actually what it did here all right so now let's proceed to creating a new account so we'll go to register okay we have already created a new account so let me try to log in with that my previous account the account i just created with okay first let me try to okay let me try to log in and uh one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so that's the password if i click it will just take me to the home page so now even if i do a hot restart it's still going to take me direct to this home page okay so from here i can log out and now let me try to log in with uh an e a, a password that does not exist the password is incorrect so one two three four five okay let me try with seven and if you click on it, you see wrong password provided by that user so the password does not correspond with that of the user okay so now let's go so let me just assume i try signing in and i have forgotten my password in this case let me just assume i've forgotten my password what do i do i go to the reset page remember we implemented the reset page we implemented it and this was the reset page just auth dot send password reset email email and the rest of them all right so we're going to click on reset and we are also required let me say i enter an email that does not exist you should also throw an error
you see error occurred so that email does not exist at all so what i'll do now is to just use the talk to destiny head okay to i'm going to use it to register reset the password so click on it we should see something email send wasn't shown okay we set password we set password uh okay if email is sent i just okay i navigate to the login page so it has been resend already i just navigate direct to the login page and this is it so we have the login page and i believe by now the email has been sent to our email address but this thing i did here is not a good practice so if you're doing your own make sure you show a dialogue or a kind of message to tell the user hey the password has been the, the the reset link has been sent to your email address all right so right now i've when i clicked on that the email address has been sent so i'm going to open it real quick in my application so let me just remove this okay all right so i'm going to go to my email app real quick okay so my email app is running already so i have the the link this one was the previous one why i was trying to test it out so this is the second one and you can see the link follow this link to reset your pro your project and it has some number password for your account remember this stuff you can still change it if you want yeah the way it's been structured the name and the rest of them so you can just go to your firebase console all right so this this was the app Right, so we actually went to so to do that just go to your authentication so currently i believe we only have one user which is talk to destiny so if you sign up as many users as possible you should have them listed so let's just go to that page first So you can see we have only destiny and assuming you have so many users created that has already created the account you see all of them listed so now i'm going to go to templates and you can edit how this stuff will look in users email address okay you can edit all of these uh, they are customizable you can also uh, 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 edit the password and the rest of them you can also see your usages what you have consumed so far and uh, you can also okay your signing method i already talked about this and then this is where you see all your users so now let's go back to our app and i'm going to show you how to okay so now we have received the reset email so once i click on it it's going to take us to a special site another site and where we are going to ask, we will be asked to input our name our new password so in this case i can just put f f f f f f okay so how many is that oh no i don't like that so let me just go one two three four five six seven eight okay so eight is the new password and then we can just click enter and you can see you can now sign in with your new password all right so let's go back to our flutter app so just go back to the flutter app real quick and now we can log in with our new password so let's let me say talk to destiny Air. and it was one to nine right or one to eight it should be one to eight so if you click on it and now we have successfully navigated to the next route all right so guys it's been a nice journey it's been a nice one so far and i want to appreciate you for taking the time to reach the end of this video and please do wait to subscribe and so that you won't miss other important uh, videos i'm going to do so because next video is going to be about google and firebase uh, facebook authentication so you don't want to miss out on that make sure you subscribe hit this the notification button and i will see you in the next video take care guys